So YouTube introduced its new shorts feature and it's already becoming a great way to boost your channel engagement and gain more subscribers. Whenever YouTube brings a new feature like this, they tend to promote it heavily. And lately YouTube Shorts is their new thing. Although this feature is in the app and it hasn't been released worldwide, but then you can still create a short video through a computer. If you're a creator who makes high quality videos and are looking for a way to create short videos through a personal computer, then this is the right video for you. Hello everyone, you are watching TechTubers and in this video we will be talking about how to create a great YouTube Shorts video in Final Cut Pro. But before we go ahead, if you are hearing a child for the first time then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So let's talk about a few things that we need to consider before we hit the software and start making a YouTube short video. First thing we need to keep in mind is that the standard format of a YouTube short video is in the vertical position. No matter which device we are capturing a video on, be it a mobile, a DSLR or a GoPro, we gotta make sure we are shooting it in the vertical position. Now let's keep in mind that a video in horizontal format won't be considered as a short video. Another thing to consider here is the video length. The video length should be within 60 seconds. Although, here's a pro tip. If your video length is within 15 to 20 seconds, chances of getting more views gets really high. Now once we're done filming the video, comes the part where we finally edit the video in a software. So there are a couple of softwares that we can use here. If you're an Apple user, then Final Cut Pro is one of the best editing softwares out there. And for those using Windows, we all know it, Premiere Pro is equally as good as Final Cut Pro. And in this video, we're gonna see how Final Cut Pro works. Let's begin with creating a new project. In the pop-up menu, click the Use Custom Settings button. From the Video Format drop-down menu, select Custom. Now change the resolution to 1080 to 1920. And then select the frame rate according to the clips that you are using. Now let's select the clip that we are going to be using in the project and drop it down to our timeline. We are going to select these clips here and press Q. Now we gotta make sure that our video should be within 60 seconds. If your clips are already recorded in the vertical format, you don't have to do anything. But if you have 16 by 9 clips and you don't want these black bars at top and bottom, then select the clip and go to Spatial Conform over here on the right side. From the dark brown menu, select Fill. You can use the transform tool to reframe your clips if necessary. Now once you're done with all the editing, go ahead and save the video so it is ready to be uploaded. Now let's log into a YouTube channel and we're gonna go to the create option at the top and click on upload videos. Now click on select files and just drag and drop your file here. Now let's pick the video that we just created. Wait for it to upload. For the most part, follow the same steps as you used to upload a normal video. Now add a suitable title. Add a description and make sure you don't forget to use the hashtag shorts in it. Now before clicking the upload button, here are a few optimization tips for your short videos that will help you gain more traction. Your titles are one of the main ranking factors for your YouTube short videos. So make sure you include your main keyword phrase in the beginning of your title. Make sure you add hashtag shorts in the description as well. And after you've optimized your video, Go ahead and publish it. 
Once you do that, your short videos are going to be listed somewhere over here in the short section. And this is how you edit and upload a YouTube Shorts from your PC with Final Cut Pro editing software. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.